We're at the end of stage three, waiting on the drivers. After stage two, the top ten were James Stafford in his Darien leading JJ Fleming by 18 seconds. Fergus O'Mara is 20 seconds off the lead. Kevin Barrett is 21 seconds off the lead. Damian McCarthy uh, also included there in fifth place. He's only 26 off the lead. So there's only six sec- seconds separating uh, third to fifth. Lloyd Hutchinson is sixth. Shea Power is seventh. Barry Ryan is eighth. Graham Scanlon is ninth and leading Group N in his Subaru. And tenth is Charlie Hickey. We're going to talk to some of the drivers right now. Kevin. Uh, Big battle there on uh, after two stages. James Stafford was 21 ahead of you. I'm sure you, you have plenty left in the tank, though, have you? Yeah, I think we'd, look, we, we set out this morning. We've brand new engine in the car. We're trying new brakes. So we said, right, get three stages, see how it all beds in. We had a really good push in that last one there. That's a tricky stage, that last one. Slippy as well in places. So uh, hopefully we had a, a good time in that last one there. We'll show you back in the hunt. James, unofficially, that's you quickest on all three stages this morning. You took Kevin uh, three seconds out of Kevin Barrett there. You must be very happy going into service. Yeah, just killing delighted now to be honest with you. Um weren't expecting weren't expecting it at all to be honest. But um stages were a lot drier than we thought they were gonna be, so you know we're looking at the the grip on the ground so we're happy enough so far. JJ, after two stages you were eighteen seconds off the lead, you matched James Stafford there, so you're still well in the hunt with six stages to go. Yeah, we just no I noticed in the end of the car was oversteering a good bit so I'll have to maybe it's the driver, I'm not sure, but we're gonna do some adjustments inside and we'll see what we can do. Shay, you're, after two stages you rely on seventh, uh, there was a big battle between yourselves and, and basically the, re- the rest of the top ten. Uh, how was the third stage for you? I had an 8.15 on it, so it was, I'd say it was a good time enough for us, I'd say. We hadn't any near ones. It's slippery in patches, but what can you do? So I'm happy enough. Tim, you're having an excellent run today, considering you had a puncher on the first stage, you have a bent wishbone, you're still lying uh, unofficially fifth overall. Yeah, we're happy enough. Um, things are running quite well. I don't think the bent wishbone has affected us too much, but... We should get it sorted now and hopefully we can attack more, maybe, we'll see. Lloyd, we spoke to you at the end of the first stage, you had, you had um, a gear stick problem and you got it sorted going into stage two. You're unofficially sixth overall, that's incredible in a mini. Yeah, we're going okay, car's great, car's 100%. Fix the gear stick and hopefully now cross the fingers and keep going for the next few stages and get us to the finish. Enda, your local rally, uh, you were 11th overall after stage two, I'm sure you'd love to be inside the top ten. Uh, I'm sure if we stay going, we will get inside the top ten. With a few, a very big moment there on that stage, kind of frightened the life out of ourselves. We were flat and sixth, and hit a bump we didn't know was there, and we were in the ditch and out of the ditch and in the ditch, and we made it through anyway. Thank God. Jim, you're doing some running repairs there. But I might as well try and keep what we have right now, <laughs> not to lose the lamp as well. What happened? We slipped into a bridge. I'd say our tires are going off a little bit. Just the last corner before the flying finish. So that's it from the end of stage three. Still a big battle between James Stafford and JJ Fleming. JJ and James equal fastest on this stage. And of course, we can't discount Kevin Barrett. He's going to put a big push on now on the next loop of stages.